Welcome back to Africa 54. November the 11th is Veterans Day in the United States. And two distinguished Americans who both made their mark during and after World War II came to New York to be honored in the Veterans Day parade. This was the first time they had met, but not the first time their lives had crossed. Viewers Bernard Schatzman reports. A bombing raid over Germany. Alongside the bombers were fighter escorts that allowed the mission to be a success. This World War II scene had become routine for two very accomplished 93-year-old men. I see the guy with the cap on. So. Acclaimed TV writer Norman Lear was the gunner on a B-17 for 52 combat missions over Germany. His protector, then fighter pilot, now educator, Roscoe Brown, was one of the original Tuskegee Airmen the popular name for a group of African-American military pilots who fought in World War II. And made the world better. They had never met before, but seemed like lifelong friends. Brown said he had escorted Lear's bombing group on a raid over Berlin and knocked a much faster German jet out of the sky. As I got close to Berlin, I saw this jet streaking up. And that's when I said, drop your fuel tanks and follow me. And the jets were coming up here. I was up here. I turned down, came down under the bombers, turned into the jet, into his blind spot, used my K-14 gun sight, which is an electronic gun sight to put a circle around the target, hit the trigger, boom, blew, down the, blew up the jet. Lear said the mission took 16 hours from Italy to Berlin and then back to Italy. It was considered the longest mission in the European theater of war. A reasonable amount of fighters and, uh, and flak, and, uh, and that's why there's more than a reasonable amount of, uh, of uh, gratitude for the uh, Tuskegee guys who flew our escorts so often. Brown says the Tuskegee Airmen's role in World War II shattered myths about black Americans. The stereotype was that African Americans didn't have the intelligence, the courage, the leadership ability to fly airplanes and be fighter pilots. And we certainly destroyed that myth. Lear, creator of numerous iconic American television shows, was visibly moved to be finally meeting a man who may have saved his and his crew's lives many times over. He was our escort, which is to say he was our lifesaver in cases flying to protect the bombers uh, and that we would meet 70 years later. Bernard Chessman, VOA News, New York.